I enjoy playing NBA 2K year round. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? As far as disagree as I can. <laughs> that Today, we're talking to NBA 2K players of all kinds, and we're looking for some answers. Hey, my name is Legend of Winning. Uh, I play 2K five times in the past year. Cap, he all literally has a chat where he plays all-star team up nightly. I'm about to, to fall God. into the event. Why? You'll be all right. You're in a group chat, dog. You know how I know? I'm in the group chat with you. And how often do I play? Yo, how, do, how often do I respond to that group chat? Every other day. No, I do not. I'm telling you. Yo, it's the big SBK, man. You know what I'm saying? The stage god. And I'm a legend. That's all I gotta say. Yo, what's Gucci, man? My name's Ryan, and I have like 18 days played on my team, bro. What's good, y'all? Name's Jake, aka Disturb 2.0. You know what I'm saying? I play my part like once or twice a month. All right, today we're stealing Jubilee's greatest series, Spectrum. Let's get into it. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering some awesome boxes with some top shelf items from some under the radar brands. Kai, you want anything? Yo! Yeah. Come on. Off. Oh my god! No, f no way, no way, Kai. Talk to me. That's mine. No, that's valid. I swear to God, I'm using this. I'm using this, bro. All right, so let me explain to you how it works. You hop on Bespoke Post, you fill out a quiz. Based on the information you give them, they put together a box they think you'd like, and you get a chance to preview the box before it gets shipped to you. You can decide to keep it, switch it out for another box, or you can decide to skip the month entirely. David thinks you're crazy. What's good, Davis? Trying to get some chicken? Of course. Yeah, man, I'm cooking up, Davis. You see my brand new butcher knife that I just made some use for. You might be asking where I got it. Bespoke post. Mm -hmm. I accidentally cut myself with it. It's very effective. Yep, all right, I'll see you, Davis. Bye. Yep. Ooh. Line of trade. <laughs> oh, there's no way we. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, I'm Ooh. 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 Well, I need a trench coat with this. The best part is each month has over $70 worth of value and you buy it for 45 bones. That to me, fellas, is called a bargain. And we got the third box, it's the biggest of them all. Boom, boom. Talk to me, what we got? Ooh, is this a second bag? God damn, I got so much storage. They knew for a fact I did not have a closet in the a and crib. <laughs> So they're giving me a lot of bags to compensate for it. To get 20% off your first box, go to bspk.me slash agent20. To get 20% off your first box, or click the top link in the description and use code agent20 at checkout. It's a huge thank you to Bespoke Post for helping sponsor this video. NBA 2K21 was the worst 2K of all time. I strongly agree because both games, I feel like, as somebody who plays multiple modes and I play, I'm a legend, you know what I'm saying? I play the game all day, I play the game all the time. It's the worst I've ever played gameplay-wise. Every every movement is just horrible. I don't, nothing is fun about that game. Streaming it, there's no content, there's nothing about that game that's good. It can't be the worst 2K because 2K18 is the worst 2K and the only thing 2K18 had going for it was Prime. It was an objectively bad game in every single game mode. My GM, yeah, nah, nah. 2K18 is the worst, that's why I'm on Disagree, but it's an awful game, that's why I'm not all the way down there. 2K18 was the equivalent of the Great Depression. You can see it in my face, I'm dead, like sad just thinking about it. The NBA 2K developers are the problem. All right, um, listen, I, I had to be on this side because, yeah, they developed the fucking game. And there's some decisions they made in developing the game that just made it less fun to play. But also, I, the reason I'm not further this way, though, is because I feel like a lot of the reasons is just lack of resources, too. And that's not on the developers. That's on the publisher to provide them with the resources to be able to do all that. So I'm in the same boat. The reason why I say this is because it's really hard to blame, like, just employees. However, they obviously have, like, some type of, you know, responsibility in what happens on the game, mainly because they are the people who are making the decisions decisions and stuff like that. It's hard to just solely blame the employees because they're clearly understaffed. All right, so I'm on somewhat disagree because while the devs make the game, not everything wrong with the game is their fault because you also got to think about like publishers and stuff. A lot of problems with the game mostly has to do with the fact that they're trying to make money off of it and the microtransactions have always been ridiculous. They're not going to go in and, and add a bunch of new features if they don't think it's going to make them more money. And that's a fact, bro. We've seen EA low key. So shout out EA because I've done a couple sponsorships. But they, they don't ruin some games just out of the pressure they applied to developers. We've seen it happen multiple times where EA eats up a dev team and the next game they put out is dog. 
because it had EA's footprint on it. Because EA's like, we need this, this, and this in the game figured out. Now the devs that don't want to spam their game with microtransactions, that don't want to make it pay to win, got to oblige because who's paying them? It's the publisher. I believe 2K is capable of fixing the problems plaguing the series. We're gonna start off with slightly disagree. Every way possible, we've given them mad options and they like, they see it and they're like, yeah, f that, we're not doing that. So that's why I slightly disagree. I mean, a lot of people have, you know, expressed their opinions on what the next game should have and what they should take out. 2K just says, f it, and don't listen to nobody in the community. Personally speaking, I do believe 2K has like the capability of changing it. I, I'm not like so pessimistic in it, mainly because a lot of the things that need to be changed are like pretty obvious things. Sure, they haven't necessarily done it in recent times, but I do believe it is something that can be fixed because some of the changes that need to be done are fairly obvious. And I do believe if either as a community, we're like more vocal about it and we're more in unison about what we all want. But I'm like, I don't think the game is just so bad, like where it's just like un repairable i actually believe it's a is a game that has like a lot of things going for it and it can clearly be fixed in my opinion nba 2k22 will be a good game <laughs> damn this is all the way over there <laughs> I can, up, hey. uh, if anybody could tell y'all the real i'm telling you i play twenty thousand something games a year bro if anybody know it's me man this game is going to be horrible usually when 2k has a horrible year they come back, like in 2K18, then 2K19 was a great year, then 2K20, but then 2K21 was a horrible year. So hopefully 2K22 can be, you know, a great year. Hold on. So we're saying 19 was good? Yeah. 19 was incredible. Oh, Actually, 19 wasn't good. Okay, we being honest, let's be real. Let's be, I'm a realist, you know what I'm saying? If that game didn't have the dribbling system that it had, which I agree, the dribbling on 19 was great. I actually could see people like G-Man actually have somebody that cannot guard him. And you know what I'm saying? No, 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 stop. Your opinion's garbage. The bad, the worst part about oh 19. Oh my God. The worst, <laughs> the worst part about 19 was the shot contest system. The rest of it was, like the game was just not balanced, but beyond that, it was fun. And it had diversity in the build. The, there was a decent skills gap, so the people who could dribble could dribble. The shooting was fairly easy, and you know, because you took advantage of that. You had a stretch big, man. I remember. Oh, I was the greatest at it, wow. and I, I won a lot of games with you sitting in my corner, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, number one corner shooter on YouTube. Hash to the corner shooter. You know what I'm saying? Problem two. We had a lot of good videos. I don't know if you remember. We did a lot of good videos, trolling Swanton and stuff like that. It was we. Had, it, that game was good. It was a good year. It definitely was. We had some of the, some banger ass videos. So how could you say it's a bad game? Because overall, I'm talking about the gameplay. Like, yeah, we're the not gameplay was good. No, no. I'm a stretch big. I'm a stretch big. And I'm telling you. The game was not balanced, but the gameplay was good, though, bro. No, it wasn't. All right, your opinion's bad. <laughs> NBA 2K should be more realistic. The only reason why I'm, I want to like slightly disagree is because I do believe there are some aspects of the game that can be a little bit more realistic. But all in all, I, I definitely don't believe like they need to push it further in that direction. I agree, like all more or less, like where it is right now is about as good as any game is going to do. There's I'm not I'm not expecting 2K to like have more sweat. Like I'm just not about to expect that. They need to inject fun into the game and just stop worrying so much about simulation because it like like Agent said, it just slows the game down. The simulation. It has gone as far as it can go. If you look at 2K16, a lot of people say that's a better basketball game. But if you ask, a lot of people will say 2K17 was more fun. 2K16 was better. But, but because it was all around, though. I remember, bro, I play, I play everything on 16. I played my team that I was on. All-Star Team Up, man. Pro-Am just came out. Prime was a fuck ton of fun. Park was lit. 2K16 was just all around 2K. I prefer separate parks rather than one big city. Can I ask you a question? I ask you a question, just like me, just me to you. Talk to me. Didn't you write all these? Yeah, but I didn't think about them. You didn't think about it? You just wrote them? Nah, I just thought about it. I just thought about them, but I didn't think about it. That was, that was his, but that was like the whole, like, let me act like, let me act like I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I did I'm thinking about it right now. I, I made these prompts like two weeks ago, guys. Everybody else who just heard the question for the first time, they were like, I already know the answer to this one. Okay. And me, I'm thinking about it. The only reason I say slightly is because the idea of playing like 3v3 Prime in different places around the world gets my dick hard. I would put good give less of it if it was in a city or separate parks separate parks had loading screens with next gen the loading screens are probably gonna be very small but the city is like you gotta like pay to move around faster and it's a big ass city it's just slightly inconvenient sometimes when your friend loads across the map and now you gotta spend five minutes to get to him so i don't really care all that much to be honest but 
Imagine you playing. I'm about to say, no. Nobody said, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on. Uh, the, the point you just brought up is kind of like invalid because on next gen, I know for a fact that when you join a friend, you they literally load you on their body now. Uh, hold on now. I got, a, I got a point to make. I thought you played for two days. I did. And when I joined somebody, I, look, I loaded in his body. What do you mean? Oh, okay, okay. I, come on. <clears throat> anyway, I can speak for myself when I say that I like to have like different places to go because when I'm done playing somebody, when I beat them 10 times and they keep spinning on me, I like to go to a different place and not play that same person again. So different parts is cool to look at as different seniors. What It's just better in general because the city was cool and all, but it's just more stuff to load, more stuff to lag more stuff to fix and it, it really don't even serve the purpose that i feel like it should have served i enjoy playing nba 2k year round <laughs> where are you going as far as disagree as i can because that shit. why are you at slightly disagree I'm about to explain it. <laughs> That's the point of the video. Right. So until recently, I definitely played the game year round because those games, like I thoroughly enjoyed just playing the game. Like I would just get on and just play park and I would just be on with friends and I could genuinely just enjoy the game, win or lose, whatever I was doing, whatever mode. The game was actually fun. Now, when I get on, it's like either I'm playing somebody that's literally just cheesing and cheesing and cheesing, exploiting to the end, of, to the end, all day, every day, and then they run the game chat. And they are, it's just not fun. I don't enjoy it. Nobody enjoys playing NBA 2K around. Zero people do that. Nobody on earth does that. The only reason I'm not down there is because I pace myself. So like, I don't play for a while. So that in July it might not be that bad. But you play all the time, so I don't know how you do that at all. So. I mean, oh, what do you mean? Ah, uh, you're, you're a legend. Stop. <laughs> Down playing, he's I like, was a legend four months ago. So that means you play all. You, there's no way you get to that point and you don't play frequently. Do you want to like pull up my Twitch? I Do you want me to replay your intro? What's my intro? Yeah. Twenty yeah. <laughs> thousand games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I haven't played 2K year. I only played 2K year long twice. That was 2K 16 and 2K 19. That's it. The other ones I can't. I just I feel like there's just no possible way that you can play that game literally every single day for a year span. There's just an absolute no way. You can, I, don't, I can't even play it once a week every year. So I think there's no, there's no way that's, that's even possible. Mm, nah. Do you like Ronnie 2K? Ain't no way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> if you hop in the pool, you the goat. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that guy at all. I mean, I don't know the per. I don't know him personally, but from my experience, what I've seen him on stream and what I've heard about him from the people that I know that have had contact with him, he's a type kind of like arrogant person. That's the type of people that I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't mess with. It. I don't like the guy. Um, that is a b dog. <laughs> Uh, no, real, honestly, I don't understand the purpose of like his existence um, in, the, in, in the community. In the community. <laughs> Damn! And <laughs> Lil' trying to take his <laughs> off Earth. <laughs> in the community. Oh, in the community. Okay. I don't, I don't understand like him being like the face of 2K when he clearly doesn't even fit the demographic. He clearly doesn't play the game. He clearly doesn't want to interact with certain people who have like some type of status in the, in the community. It doesn't even seem like he wants to be involved in the conversation itself. There's no one that's, no one that's some way, someone who is the face of something doesn't understand the problems or the community at large. And I feel like Ronnie 2K is disconnected from the community. So I just don't, I just don't understand his purpose. So he should just not exist. In the community. In the, in the community. community. Uh, so my bar for his position is so incredibly low. Like literally all he has to do is not cap. All he has to do. And he does that and like worse. Like really they need to, get rid of that position entirely or just hire somebody else to do it that isn't so like like he said he's really a weirdo like he doesn't play the game he doesn't like if you've seen like any of his tiktoks it's just pure cringe like it's hard to, i'm like wincing just thinking about it it's just hard to watch to be honest oh, yeah. great opinions guys great opinions great opinions but hey man if y'all enjoyed the video make sure to drop what? a like link they everybody give, everybody has stop you interrupting my outro literally everybody has you doing the wrong thing Jubilee. Jubilee, normally they go around and give people like one or two sentences on yeah, the I don't get no sentences on this wow. channel. Hey, a couple years ago, I did a Change My Mind NBA 2K edition, man. Go ahead, catch that. Everyone's link's in the description. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Damn. Damn. Dude, that's <laughs> literally my phone, though. <laughs> it's my outro, dog. Finish it. It's my outro.